Hi, and welcome to the Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Montclair's local yarn store. I'm Jen. Amanda. Kathleen. Haley. And this is episode 50, we literally just said it. 52. 52! 52. Yay! 52. 52. Yay! <laughs> so hopefully you guys joined us for our live last time, but if not, you can just scroll back down in YouTube mm-hmm. and, and watch it. Um, but it was super fun. It was so fun, and it was really impromptu because we had a technical glitch, and yeah. then we had a creative solution <sighs> instead of <laughs> giving Amanda even more work when she oh had goodness. no time to do it to edit. We just did it live, and we had been talking about it before yeah. that, so it was a yeah. great opportunity to do it. it Thank you for fun. suggesting it, Miss Hedley. That was a great idea, and, and thank you guys for watching it live and, yeah, and commenting. Comments. It was so, so fun. fun. And we definitely will do it again. Yeah. We, we talked about it, we thought maybe once a quarter, so we'll schedule yeah. it in yeah. advance. Actually, comment below. Please let us know, like, what's a good time for you? Do you like a weekday evening, you know, yeah. or a weekend afternoon? And actually, summer may be different. I mean, people, I think a lot of times in the summer, maybe a weekend afternoon is not great. But let us know. Let us know what you think. We'd love yeah. to. We will definitely do another one with yeah. a little more notice next time. <laughs> and maybe we'll do, like, a, like a Q&A thing, where if you guys want yeah. to submit, like, questions for us, yes. or, like, we could talk about random questions that we We've gotten at the store and then mm-hmm. we can answer it. Yeah. That, yeah. Would, be that fun. would be fun. And it just kind of like deviate from our norm. That's a very loud motorcycle that hopefully maybe you heard. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I but mean they revved it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So welcome. Yeah. yeah. We had sound issues last time. Wow. We had a silent movie <laughs> for our recorded podcast last time, which you I don't know because you didn't long. get to hear it. But I texted these guys like OMG. There's no sound on the whole thing. <laughs> and we're all like, oh! I think we all had the same reaction. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully you can hear us now. Yeah. Yes. With are we mic. are we with the new mic? We do have the new mic on. So we'll we'll see how I mean I tested it too. Uh-huh. Okay. So tell us how the sound quality is down below. I'm hopefully s- it's still learning how to use it all. We'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out. Um, so let's dive right in. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. What is happening around town is it's June. Yeah, Yay! and actually today, the June. day we're recording is June 1st. Mm-hmm. Should we talk a little bit, we can talk um, a bit about what's happening in the store. Maybe we go straight to, because we were just looking at the Black Pearl Magic bags that came yes, in. Yes, yes. Um, okay, right, right. We'll, we'll just go straight for that because they're, yeah. they're so cute and we so want to make adorable. sure that yep. Ooh, and we got them. Amanda got them all on the website. Yay, I did. Thank you. A lot of times when we get like accessories, I'm usually prompt about getting yarn on, uh, mm-hmm, but not mm-hmm. accessories. But this time accessories I got my act hard, together. But, like, look how cute these bags are. Well, I love so the adorable. wax canvas on the bottom. Yeah, love them. We Definitely. had a customer in when I was taking the photos because that's how I roll. <laughs> Just <laughs> do it live. You're at work. You're at work. Uh, yeah. Hey, no, I do it too. I'm on the back, you know, back floor laying things out. And <laughs> yeah, but I was like. A lot of so times cute. with my um, with my bags that I make, which are just like quilting cotton, mm-hmm. um, the thin needles, like ones or soft needles, poke they through. They poke yes. right through. Yeah. With the wax canvas, they won't. I won't impale yep. myself. Yeah. So these are so Black Pearl Magic, which are handmade in Baltimore by Shayla Jones, who is amazing and so and talented delightful. and delightful yep. and like just the sweetest. They stand up on their own. They have wax canvas bottoms and we have yeah, them this. in small. Yeah, this is small, which is like, mm-hmm. um, oh, I did the dimensions. Sock yeah. project. Yeah. Uh, or any stain. small, or shawl. You could shove yeah. a shawl in this. Mm-hmm. I would shove a shawl in this. You mm-hmm. would shove a one skein shawl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It like, you can like, Squish those cakes in. I, I'd yeah. say it, it's it's Depends. a good sock size. It's, it's really a, good it's sock a perfect size. Size. It's a good for, for a pair of socks. Yeah, one skein fits like nice nicely mm-hmm. in there, and it'll it'll be great. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then um, this is the medium, which is the medium. Another which step is like um, three skeins worth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or definitely like, like a two skein shawl for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, for nice sure. Here. For yeah. sure. Jen I think I pack my bags. Here. I pack my bags tight. <laughs> I'm like jam that sucker in. Yeah, yeah. Kathleen and I fit our shells in the medium. I would put maybe mm-hmm. I could I could probably get a sweater in that. Oh my oh, wow, goodness! Wow, wow. Yeah, I always just I wish a bulky weight sweater. <laughs> the large. I have a bulky weight sweater use. in my other bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I do. I hold that sucker up. And this is the large, That's which is large. like a normal person's sweater. Yeah. <laughs> And actually, but I love I love this pattern. The medium has mm-hmm. has like two pockets inside, which is yes. really nice. I don't recall if the small has any pockets. Uh, I don't know. The but small does the not have pockets. Which large it really has two pockets as well. Oh my oh, gosh! Nice. What a cute contrasting lining. 
Oh, uh, that's really Oh, yeah, very pretty. That's nice. So cut. cute. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I, I love, like it. When I, I love the pockets. divided pockets. I love yeah. the divided pockets. You put, like, you know, if you're using interchangeables, you put your needle packaging on one side. Yeah. If you, you know, you fold your pattern, your, your yarn yeah. labels, your swatch. Yeah. <laughs> I love this heavyweight. Keep and it all so, out of the, uh, the prices are, let's see, what the small is 26. Can't reach that. The medium is medium 30, price? I believe. 30. And the large is 50. And they all have drawstring. Sorry, tops. large is 36. Yeah. Large is 36. 26, 36. So, oh. 56. 26 for the small, 36 for the medium, 50 56 for the, for the large. 50 for the large. Correct? Yeah. That's right. Yes. 50 for the large. <laughs> there we go. Seeing little drawstrings. No mm -hmm. So these are the project bags, but then we oh, also have... The I love those. I want one. The... Mm -hmm. Is anybody surprised? Zip I know. bags. And, and this this was the one print we got in all the sizes, which yes. is so fun. I mean, they're, they're all pretty. And they're all on the website. Right. You've got little swatches of the colors. So these they are... Sparkle. They sparkle. There the yeah. glitter zip pouches. Yes. Where... Hello, little baby mama. She I'll put a picture up. Yeah, you've got that nice. They're picture, super sparkly. I love these. Is that mama llama? It's mama llama. llama. Did I say sheep? This is the mama llama. It's an animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sheep. I want the, the mama sheep. llama. They're so cute. You need the mama llama. It's in pink so and black and black. Mm -hmm. And this one says notions and. Mm. And I I would say it, but Amanda will beat me out. So I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I want that one. Obviously. You should, I know. I was I thinking about you when I saw that. It's totally. This is totally my mama mad. llama. That's your. Oh, and it's in purple too. Yeah, no, I know. I love mm -hmm. the extra colors. But I love the pink. Oh, I love that pink. I love the orange ones. I love the color of that pink. Yeah, These the zip pouches pink. are 12 bucks each. Mm -hmm. Love them. And then we also have this one might come stitch markers and progress keepers, which They're these so are cute. the cutest things. So These are, cute. This is a little set of two progress keepers that, I don't know if you can see, they have um, like little Here, fuchsia let me stars. Take because they're not going to photograph them. like super awesome either. But they're glittery. Yeah. And I'm they're blocking shady. you guys. Er we have them in a whole bunch of different colors. And actually, one thing Seisha and I like the other day when we were in the shaky. store when we put them out. I totally want to wear them like earrings. earrings. People, Seisha was wearing hers as earrings. Was she? Did she? So yeah, I would did. totally she wear did. these as earrings. Yep, they're How so cute. Cute they're are so they? They're so cute. And I have like Little crazy shakies. sensitive ears, so I can't even wear silver. Silver makes me itch. I have to only wear gold. They're worth some. <laughs> such you a, got expensive such a princess, ears. Princess, there were princess. some multicolored but ones, but I think they out. I bought a set, Seisha bought a set, Erica bought a set. The <laughs> multicolored ones are adorable. One on yeah, I think they're done. I think they're gone. And yeah. little suede tassels. The tassel. I had to get some we have tassels cool too. cool colors and warm yeah. colors. Yeah. Uh, these are also $10. And then these. I love these. Little the kitty stitch cat. stitch markers are so fun. Stitch markers. They're little kitties. Little kitties. It's so cute. Also, <laughs> eight bucks. Um, for the set. Yeah, so, so there are a few different styles of stitch markers. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, and we also have some bronze uh, with like a tribal design, and then we have some snagless ones. Tribal. Mm -hmm. Tribal. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tribal. So the kitty Sorry, ones. Sorry, I was talking fast. The um, the kitty ones come in gold and silver, and they are pretty large. Like these yeah, would be great good. for a big bulky. Yeah. Exactly, they'd be great. At the beginning of a hat. Yeah, room. yeah, but just so hat. fun. So fun. Love the it. Cat hat. The a little cat. cat ears. On your hat. <laughs> <laughs> so oh these are going to be, so these are online and in store. Yep. Um, but I feel like these are going to go quick. They're so cute. Yeah, definitely. Um, we, we did actually, after we did, um, did we post about them? I don't know. I know there were a couple uh, of orders that... Newsletter. That's what it was. Yeah. We, we got a couple of online orders I'm while we were closed for the holiday, during the holiday weekend. So that was really nice. they're super cute. And super, super we are cute. also doing a thing where, um, I don't know, this, the uh, pins are probably in the office, but um, the first six people to get bags get a pin. And I think we oh, have nice. three. We will have three left. I need to email the two other people. Um, who, so act quick. Yeah. Oh, that was in our newsletter? Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm. So. I didn't read the whole thing. <laughs> that's what you got. Um, this is the thing. If you want to be up to date on our news, we try to post it on Facebook as well, but get the mm -hmm. newsletter and actually look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Like you don't really need to look at it because I it's not like you know, but like no, I didn't know that. I, I scan the newsletter to see if I'm supposed to take photos. Yes, <laughs> you look for what you need. 
Right? And it's like, I'm always like, I need a picture of this yeah, when I'm writing it. Um, and Kathleen, I, try, I try to do as many no, of them ahead of time as I can. Kathleen's a great editor. <laughs> Kathleen yeah. tries yeah. to pay attention to my spelling because I'm <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Again, I'm used to having a whole department checking it. Just me. Your department of one. <laughs> my department is Kathleen. <laughs> So, um, so, so that's yeah, that's like the big new in store, and I guess actually in town. the other big thing new in store is um, in person knit nights again. Oh uh, yes. yes! And by the time you see this, we will have had our first in person knit night. It Yay. is happening tomorrow. Uh, you know, for the day we're recording it, a couple of days ago for the day you guys are seeing this. Yep. Um, and we've had a little confusion about how registration and everything works so I, this oh. is a good time to talk about it well like you were saying about reading that's one of those things people got so excited and they didn't read and <laughs> so what we're doing is um opening registration at around noon on the day the week of knit night so for, yes. for every week you, that monday you register for wednesday evening yeah and that way we're really hoping people will have their schedule down they'll know you, so know, you can't save your spot Mm -hmm, exactly. It's not like lunchroom in fourth grade. That's no, <laughs> no same, same yeah. seats. Yeah. And, you know, we no want um, you know we we want we want everyone to have a chance to come. We are keeping it limited numbers. Uh, we're starting with eight. You know, we're gonna see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. see, because we are still gonna have the store open for shopping. Um, and we have unlimited spots at Zoom Knit Night. That's yes. right, exactly. With Amanda me. will continue to host Zoom Knit Night. So <laughs> that's the thing. What we're going to do is we're having the in-person Knit Night be a little bit earlier. We're Six having our yes. Zoom Knit Night at our normal time. Seven, seven to nine. nine. So we're going to have an hour overlap and we're going to see if we can have the Zoom gonna... Knit Night up at the in-person Knit Night mm -hmm. so you can get the best On of the iPad. Ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, we'll, you know, we'll connect the groups. We'll see how it goes. And yeah. we, hope it, we hope it goes well. I'm excited. Our and Zoomers are awesome. looking forward to it. Yeah. If yeah. it does go well, maybe we can even get like a bigger monitor or something. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, no, really. If it's if it seems like a feasible thing, then I we think were we should look of, into that. I was, in the back of my head, I was like, because we have some older TVs. I was like, oh, we could bring our old TV in and be the monitor up here. Yes. And then Charlie threw a rock at it and just said, oh, no. Our TV. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. We have a new TV now. So but, maybe not that. But, but also, you know, um, there I feel like I have like 50 monitors useful. in my house thanks to Jonathan who just goes through things mm -hmm. and is like, I need a bigger setup. And I'm like, why? Why do you need a bigger setup? But yeah. his work pays for it, so I'm mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I yeah, was thinking that would be nice too, like when we did too, the, so. Yeah, when we had the cocoa knits knit along, because yeah. there were um, there were Zoom presentations mm -hmm. and there's like, yeah. you know, we could little, pull like tutorials up and exactly. be like, they they hello, food. let's show the class. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. That could be fun. Yeah, so we could have our tutorials running on a loop in the background. I'm looking, I'm looking and over yeah. at the spots. We've got nice, nice big wall space there. They have, we could even, there's like mini projectors we could do on the wall below the Darnia sign. Oh. Ta-da. This is what happens when we start podcasting is that we're like, oh, ideas. <laughs> we have yeah. ideas. ideas. We have so thoughts. you see it in person. This is why it's, it's good to be back. <laughs> this also happens during knit night, by the way. It is true. Oh, absolutely. Um, the one thing we should say is in person knit night will be masks required, yes. vaccinations required, yes. and um, we will be checking. Yep. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, we but I mean, everyone. like, we know y'all, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, I. Yeah. And the reason that we do that, and I feel like, one one of the reasons that that's important to me is like because I have unvaccinated younger kids at home. Yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. now we, I mean, how many nine Yankees tested positive even after they've all been vaccinated for months? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you know, I'd hate to take something home yeah. to my little mm -hmm. kids. You yeah. have little kids at home. Yeah. Like, and we also have a lot of customers who, you know, the, the, there can't are people, be their kids are yeah they, they you can't know, they've be got kids at home grandkids or like whatever. immunocompromised yeah exactly exactly you know older folks who you know it it's still a concern I mean so this I think is each business sort of has to calibrate to like yes. the safest and smartest mm -hmm. you know and what works for, for them, them at the for time. them in their community yeah and yes. so yeah so things the, will change over the next nine months I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I feel like the one thing we learned about the last like year and a half is that it's good to be flexible and to be able to pivot. Quickly. Yeah, absolutely. So this is us mm -hmm. doing yeah. both of those things. And and I feel like the whole time we were on the side of caution and it served us well. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's absolutely. 
just absolutely. Uh, there, to me, there's really not much of a downside. I no. I'm so used to wearing a mask now. It's I like too, it doesn't, yeah. and, and I have a collection. Oh, <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. and but you can accessorize it. Exactly. Right. Thanks, thanks like, to Jen and her, we've got oh, yeah. our nice mask, mask chains. chains. Exactly. But um, you know, it's one of those things. I also have my allergy symptoms have been reduced. Yeah. yeah. I got no colds. I mean, one yeah, thing I was. One thing I was reading the other day, people apparently are now, some people are actually going to the hospital with colds and getting pneumonia from colds because oh, they're no. suddenly, because all, so many people are unmasked all the time and yeah. they're, uh, and, and they're just exposed to more that, germs, you know, lie. it's like, I, I thought about that early on. I was like, what are we used to now that in a year, or however long mm -hmm. it's going to take that we are washing our hands more mm -hmm. and yeah. like just like what are we like going to be de-immunized from just mm -hmm. like in daily mm -hmm. yeah my kids yeah. still eat a pound of dirt though. i was gonna say <laughs> this is the thing i feel like i still get sneezed in the face um from a seven-year-old <laughs> mm -hmm. so i'm yeah, like so depend see that's what you really need my kids need a seven-year-old sneezing <laughs> in your face <laughs> But you I, I got kids. Yeah, Haley's got. Haley yeah, will yeah. 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 be fine. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that that that's our approach, and yeah. you know, Safety we've mo first. most people have been really happy with it. We've had a lot of support. We've had a couple yeah. people not happy, and honestly, the choice is you know everyone can kind of follow what it works for them. And yeah. if it really doesn't work for somebody, then I'm sure there's some another group that is doing something more to their taste. We totally and understand that's, that. And that's, that's okay. Yeah. You know, it's not, we're not trying to rule for the world. We're doing what yeah. works for us and, and our subscribe community. to the newsletter to know when things change. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because we'll post it on the newsletter. Yeah. We'll post yeah. it on Facebook. Yeah. We'll post it on everywhere we can. But yeah. the newsletter is where things will go out. First. Yes. And every, so every Monday. Even yesterday on Memorial Day. Yeah. When the store was closed. Yes. Jen that got that been, newsletter out. Yeah, she did. So, so let's move. Let's, yeah, definitely. Let's talk we should, about, we should yeah. keep going. Uh, as, objects. As is often the case, we have limited time. At least. Limited time. So, finish, Amanda, finished objects? Yeah, sure. Oh, I do have a finished object that sort of flows into a longer term whip, but. Charlie's birthday was yesterday. Yay! Charlie Happy is three. Charlie. He's wow. been on the podcast before. I can't believe he's three. I know. Yeah. Little so squishy good. baby. <laughs> um, so, his birthday present, as you know, I've been working on these since February. I now have <laughs> oh so my cute. Pokeballs. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> and he literally took them out. He's like, I throw it. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, of course you do. That's literally what they're for. Mm -hmm. So he immediately threw them. I like that he checked them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, the house. He's like clearly been. No, like, I'm not supposed to use balls. Well, and he was them. like, "They're nothing inside." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, no, they don't come with a Pokemon inside. There is no Pikachu. And they do have a Pokemon. Oh, oh my god! So oh my god. god. The tail is great. It's the cutest thing I've That's ever so seen. So fun. I love oh, it. Oh my god! Job. I love him so much. Even the eyes. Look at the fan felted eyes. Oh, beautiful. Well, these him. guys hadn't seen him before. So I'm going to see him. Oh, oh my god. god. Wow. <laughs> was he so excited? He was <laughs> super excited. I have a picture of him right after he got it all fitted in. But he's like <laughs> hugging it super tight. Oh my god, oh, I so love cute. it. I actually <laughs> snuck it out of the house this morning. Oh yeah. Because I it yesterday. Um, <laughs> it's precious. Oh I god. love Excuse the me. fire. The tail. tail. Is so perfect. It's so cute. It just unraveled yarn. Yeah. It's oh so my great. God. Oh my God. Is it these two colors or is it? Um, no, the, it's the red and the yellow. Oh, the red from that. Oh, oh so perfect. Oh my God. Um, that is crazy. He's, little, he's got little feet. And you use crisp. Was this Sugarbush crisp? Yeah, all these are Sugarbush crisp. Um, these are <laughs> so adorable. Pokeballs oh, patterned it. by. It's so nicely stuffed. It's so like nice and dense. <laughs> it is so cute. I love it. Twist in so that yarn. That is wild. Much. I think. Um, They're great. Now I didn't I didn't write notes today. I think it's Kelly Kaluka is the Pokeballs. I'll put it down there. Um, is the pattern designer for the Pokeballs, and there are nine Pokeball designs. Mm -hmm. um, and then the the Charmander is by One Up Crochet. So ah, sweet, oh so cute. I improved my magic circle so much on this project. <laughs> right? I mean, oh, yeah. this was the yeah, first one you I really did, need to... which is still pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the first one. But then look at the top of that one. Ooh, it's, right? Like, yeah. I really improved because nice. all these start with magic yeah. circle, yep. magic circle, magic yeah. circle, magic yeah. circle. So for, much practice for everything. Right? Yes, practice yeah. makes a huge difference. <laughs> 
Um, so I have if you guys don't know what Magic Circle is, Magic Circle is a way to start crocheting the round where you don't have to do like chain four and slip right. stitch into the first one. You basically like chain into a, a Magic Circle and then pull the end. You and pull it tight. Yeah. It makes it so that it's really, there's no hole in the middle. It's a nice which little pinhole. hole. Yeah. Yep. And then cool. just as a, a little, this is why I say it's like in progress, is that now I have another boy with a birthday on June 16th. So mm -hmm. now I'm racing for June 16th. Um, this is going to be another Pokeball. This is an Ultra Ball. So these are going to be his balls, Pokeballs. I and throw it. <laughs> well, he's six. He'll use. He, yeah, he, he's like he's just gonna be. Like, Would you? He'll, he'll just also not ask. He'll be like throwing it. <laughs> um, and then I'm making Mew. Oh, so Mew! So cute. So yeah. the Mew will probably be done last. But I've started. I'm getting so much faster too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I started this mm -hmm. last night, and got this far. Well, That's really good. What size hook are you using? It's nice and tight. Um, yeah. just it's a three that. millimeter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. No, I'm progress getting much keepers. better. So guys, is that a Pokemon That's a progress Squirtle. Keeper? A little progress Squirtle oh gosh, progress keeper. <laughs> this is so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not like, How it wasn't made to be a progress keeper per se, but it is I just now. tell them to put it. This is an Etsy maker. I'll put the name down. I forget mm -hmm. which one. Um, but she has the option to put like a little lobster hook on her. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. On her charms. Anything that you can hook into it can be a progress keeper. Yeah, okay. absolutely. But right. I love just the Pokemon things. So, I love it. Yay, that's my, that's my finished objects and whip. Nice. Cool. Yay. All right, I'll get nice. it. Love it. I finished, this did not take that long, I have to say. I finished I, it very, very, very quickly. Free. This is the Stormy Sky mm -hmm. shawl. Oh, this is so in the Noro Geshi. Geshi. Um, which so is nice. a long color changing wool and cotton and it's mostly cotton, viscose, and a little bit of wool. Um, it feels really nice. It's so, it worked up so quickly. So I love great. this pattern. I cannot remember who it's by, but Amanda will link it. Yeah, it'll be down there. Um, we've something. had a shop sample in this in various different yarns mm -hmm. for a while because it's just such a good, if you don't know what to do with like a single skein of fingering or like one of those big Noro skeins and you're like, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Do this because yeah, you start it, you start with three stitches and then you just go until you're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm, and the only exactly. thing you have to do yeah. is end on a garter. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's eyelets, drop stitches, interspersed with garter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And every nothing is like too long. You don't need to the end. Yeah, too exactly. Long. You don't want to get bored fun. doing this yeah. because you're no. always moving on to the next and thing. And you're like, oh, I can just do a section. Mm -hmm. I love this looks like Keeps sunset, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, I so love pretty. It. This Very is so nice. islandy. Um, and then I did tassels. So basically when I got to about mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, I was like, you know what, I should probably save some yarn for tassels. So I just did the tassels off the other end of the ball. And That's then, great. Good then just went until I ended, and I had like a foot left. Wow! Like, Excellent. Yeah, and it worked your, out your well. Your list, your list, you know. My last one was a full. Mm -hmm. And of course, so your garter hands. matches. It's like you definitely it ends you did. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Come yeah. Change. So it's a great pattern. Um, I love it. It'll be in the store. Yay! Uh, this yarn was really great to work with. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. just a really nice, easy. I've gotten a couple Mindless. of shop sample ideas recently from customers. That's like yes. where I get uh huh. Customers so have good. the best ideas. You guys mm -hmm. have the best ideas. So this little summer wrap, it'll be in store. You can try it on. You can check it out. Um, and awesome I think right now we have four colors of Geshi, and we've got more on the way. Mm -hmm. So and you can do that in any really in any yarn. Just yeah, adjust absolutely. Your needle size. You know, it, it would be to, beautiful oh, in the Kakagori. So perfect. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I was yeah. looking well, at. The can't multi, you can't yeah. see it up there, but there's, there's a some in my bag too. multi color with like little rainbow speckles. Yoink! <laughs> that Haley just grabbed. <laughs> you can see um, it's getting warm. We don't have that. Would be stuff gorgeous. On. Yeah, that would be so pretty. It would be That's, so so pretty. We're gonna see that again later in the podcast. Oh good. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing I did because uh, so fun. I'm easily distracted and I have a giant head. <laughs> is I did a. Sun hat. And I had this raffia so in my cute. stash. It's a white and a navy. And I also magic did a magic circle, circle at the top of the crown. <laughs> this is a single crochet sun hat. I actually single crocheted it into the 
back of each stitch to back so beautiful mostly because I wanted to make sure that the stripes weren't all like chunky yeah mm -hmm. you know like you know how single crochet the stripes can get chunky this has this way it has a, a through line plus a little bit of like sawtooth going mm -hmm. on yeah yeah um, so good and I did it in a spiral because I well first I did it with I started each round and joined each round but my joins were terrible <laughs> terrible then I was like screw this I'm gonna do this in a spiral just like helical knitting but helical crochet and, and I worked at the top and then I did like helical so for the helical instead of doing the joins where you just like pull the color through but like mine were getting I was not doing it right and I was kind of half-assing it so I ripped it out you were you were what <laughs> Beep, bleeping it half beeping it <laughs> Not doing my full extent. How's that? <laughs> um, so what I did was after I did one round, I did it just like helical knitting where I joined in the next color and then I worked around in the white and then I stopped right before the navy was and then I worked around in the navy and then I stopped wow. right before the white was and then blah, 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 blah. Is, is, that, is it a thing or did you make it's, it up? It's got to be a, a thing. It's a thing. It's, it's, a thing. A, it's how people make... Um, they do, the, yeah, it's, it's, it's two colors. Yeah, it's it is. Yeah. It's the same technique. It's, it's one row yeah. spiral stripe. You just start them all in the same spot and yes. do it. Okay. Yeah. Like that's it's cool. actually a little bit easier with crochet because you, you don't have to stop really before. You can just crochet yeah, can into do that stitch until, that's waiting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so it's, it's so pretty straightforward. Cool. Make a circle at the top, go straight down, and then you make more extensions. Um, more increases and the one thing I did differently than I've made halves before and I have millinery wire which is mm -hmm. basically like really thick fishing wire but what I did with this one instead was I used um, galvanized rope which is like Ooh. very thin it's not very thin but it's probably it's like, almost like what the cord is in the chow green needles or something yeah something it's like very that, similar right? it's to like, that so it's mm -hmm. bendy but still it's strong. bendy but like and but flexible body. Yeah. but it has like, memory back yeah, yeah. That is so cool. um and so i actually i could see the metal when i first crocheted over it at the edge so i wrapped it in the raffia and then i crocheted mm -hmm. over the edge we've got to do kits for this and then i folded I it in well, and perfect. I slip stitched yeah. it. I told Jen, I thinking... when, when I came in, I thought it was a store-bought hat on the table. Yeah. I mean, you know, I know we're we're professionals and all, but it's so, <laughs> it's so good. It's so, so good. Hats never fit my head, and so the ability to make, make one that does. Yep. Makes and I found my little, so my grommet makers. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. you've got grommets, That's you've got the leather perfect. cord. I had grommet maker for like 20 years, and I was like, where the heck did I put this? <laughs> Look at me, I didn't curse that time. Um... <laughs> And then uh, I put it in so I could put like the little leather cord, which is, you know, just, just so cute. random. And then I had this from the mask thing, the little cord oh, stopper. Oh, yeah. But Love I also, so you, oh could, you could also, cord. when you switch to the brim, you could just put holes in the crochet or weave cord through the holes yeah. Yeah. Um, and just tie it. Mm -hmm. And that way you can adjust it. Uh-huh. Yeah. bigger or smaller so if you guys are interested in this this is again this is Raffia that I I'm had <laughs> Raffia I had in my stash but um we could also see about sourcing Raffia which yeah. would it would make a great like beach bag comment too below. right yeah comment below if you're interested if you're interested if you're not interested also comment below and be like right. not interested yeah. in this not interested but in the hat y'all are boring move along can I you'll say you'll see, you'll see a talking hat. about making hat. beach bags yes, yes. 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 Oh my goodness. To the beach bag. <laughs> what a see so. everyone <laughs> So, and actually, I will say, before I get into the beach bag, I found my Tanya! Yeah. Yeah. If anybody remembers, a few I episodes ago, I wanted, I was like, it's the perfect day for a Tanya, where is it? You know where it was? And with my spring clothes. Where it of should course. be, like, of course. Well, I don't it's know. It's a spring sweater. It is a spring sweater. But but it had been so cold, I didn't take my spring yeah. clothes out. So, uh, um, so I'm anyway. I'm dark when you organize, and then you're like, <laughs> where is it? It's in with the organized What's your Tanya in? My Tanya is in Bala Hoya, mm -hmm. in... Dirty Martini colorway, Love that which I think martini. we actually still have like one sweater's quantity worth of yeah. left. We I do. Love that dirty martini. Them. There are a few. Oh, I see them. I see uh -huh. them. There are a few <laughs> colors. We we definitely have um, La Jolla in a few colors. You can really Many, do it in yeah. any fingering though. There's a bunch yeah. of Natosh that would work. Yeah. Um, and actually, I am gonna make another one. I already bought uh, the. What was it? Tosh Sock in Gigi Loves Orange. Ooh. Because I want to make, yeah, when that came in, I was like, I knew I wanted to make another one, and I want to make it um, 
I want to make it long sleeved oh. because honestly, I do feel like for a spring sweater, there's so few days during the year in our part of the country where you can wear it. If I were somewhere where it was like around 70, 68 so to 70 yeah. all the time. If you were like San Francisco. It's below 90, yeah. I'm wearing a spring sweater. <laughs> yeah. Not it's me. Just, I, I get hot pretty If easily. you're in San Francisco or Amanda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This would work for you more here. But, <laughs> yeah. but honestly, it's like, it is a sweater. So if I, all if all I need is, yeah, even, I think it would be so of... cute with three quarter sleeves too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I don't even yeah. want full length sleeves, just a, three it's quarters. A dropped, it's a dropped Yeah, dropped shoulder. shoulder. So. so, so cute. So I'm definitely, yeah, I've got that yarn put aside. At some point I'll get to it. Um, I was actually almost out of, you know, works in progress the other day. <gasps> How, well, of active ones anyway, but we we <laughs> got baskets. we've we've been getting a lot of yarn into the store. Still, we did um, you know we did our Nora order, and it's one of those. It's mostly for the fall, but it's one of those things where the way things are with supply chains well, right especially now, especially now, yeah, you 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 kind of have to say yes. I'll take delivery as soon as you have Whenever it. Whenever you get it. So yeah. literally, you know, within three or four days after our order went in, we started getting boxes. Yes. And one of the things in those boxes was um, Noro Kare on Air, which was a oh. yarn that we had had for blanket kits. It was really fun. You may remember that. And the cow kits. Yeah, yep. exactly. And in the box also was a pattern pad for a beach bag. <gasps> Look at that. And as soon as as soon as I so, saw it, I'm like, I have to make one of these as a store sample, and then geez. I'll make one for myself too. Yeah. And then you did it. And then I did literally two evenings, and honestly, it could have been so less bad. if. Yeah. I mean, I it did, I did, so I did eighty percent of it one night, and then I finished it the next it's night. So cute. And Jen just put the handles on this morning. I Thanks, did. Jen. <laughs> so uh, these are coconut handles, but I think it is so cute. We have so we put kits together for this. I love it. If you it. want to hand me some of the. Um, also, so, start with guess what? <gasps> oh, that's right. That a was our original segue. Oh, magic magic ring. Yep, yep. So we <laughs> will have these bag. on the it's website. It's really soft too. Isn't it? Ooh, it's so nice. It's it really soft. Is. It's sturdy. Yeah. Yeah. It, it would also be a great it's, market bag. I think. Oh it my gosh, so this would be perfect to for market. the farmers market. Yeah. You get to pick your your like color scheme. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, Ooh, I love got that some one. Ones. No, they've got. Yeah. These we got some good colors then. And this we is, did. This is the one that you made. I, I like that color. Yeah, I like this color scheme yeah. a lot Works too. Out. Yeah. And so I these are the just four. I think we had eight these. colors currently. Oh, I love this. Blue. Blue. <gasps> Ooh, I love this. That's very oceany. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because yeah. like, this, awesome. this is like autumn. That's like summer. This is blue. This was so me when I, really I saw this. this I mean, we've had this color before, but we were down to almost none. And yeah. then when totally I saw the pattern pad and this, yeah. I'm like, you know. So and we have it, you can yeah, crochet yeah. handles. We yes. use the coconut handles here, which just tie oh, on the jewel mm -hmm. kit handles. The jewel nice. kit handles yeah. would be great. Yeah, Make a, like a, a really. Longer. I mean, and then you could just be like, this is just like my purse. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I would totally be like, mm -hmm. hey, summer purse. Yeah. 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 So the pattern does include um, crochet handles if yeah. you want to do that. But yeah, yeah. Oh, we're which are also cute. I like mm -hmm. the leather handles though. Yeah, I think I just could picture it, you know, when right? I saw it. I'm like, I kind of like the um, makes it the stylish. solid color matching. contrasting yeah. with the yeah. Yeah, because like but it very like I love the multi, but like just mm -hmm. like the way that looks. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the kits don't come with handles. No, so no. you can buy whatever you they're like. They're in the store, but you, yeah. you can put <laughs> yeah. them. In the you can choose whatever you like. You can pick them, but definitely check out the coconut handles and check out the jewel handles because both of those would I think would would work really well for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I think um, we match your personal aesthetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we have any. I think we may have one set of jewel handles left. We probably probably it's been need a while to do since a small jewel jewelry. order. Yeah. Um, I have notes on on specifics that we need, <laughs> but but that would definitely be one. Be super cute. So super cute. So yeah. So if you like, I you know see this and just think, oh my god, it's, it's the perfect time of the year. It, they it call really it their beach toe. Oh, so and plus, like sometimes uh, sometimes you're in the middle of several projects yes, that are we crinkle all slogged. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. You and you need, need like, like okay, I need like, something shallow <laughs> cleanser. I just need to get my juju back, and like yep. this will get. Yep. And okay, if you back. if you can crochet, this is single crochet. Yeah. Yep. This is that's all it this is. This is all single crochet. You, yeah. This you start with crochet. 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 And the pattern literally. So basically, the kit is three skeins of Nora crayon air, which I use like two point six skeins for this. Mm -hmm. So there would definitely be enough left. I I waited because I updated oh, yeah. my Ravelry. Um, I still need to take pictures, but uh, there would be enough left for the handles. Like that you know, sense. I did it to yeah. the point. I, I thought I might go longer. I'm like, no, it's a nice length actually, the way yeah. they specified oh. it. So. The yarn you know, is eighteen dollars a skein, so that's fifty four, and you get the pattern for free because nice. we have the pattern awesome. pad. So the pattern's a five dollar value, 
and honestly as I was working on this I said to myself I could do the same thing and um, and do use some chill and make some little baskets oh, around the house. Yay. That would be so cute. So I think there are going to be some of those baskets. in my future too. Yeah, so baskets. I've kind of gotten the like the crochet bug for you know just like little useful items. I yeah. feel like yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a that's a whole project right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But it was project. it was so fast. The other thing is the pattern does say to do the slip and join and go up. And Haley's like. I'm not a fan of joining. I feel like it's <laughs> unnecessary. I don't yeah, know what the... So I spiraled. I just I spiraled it and it was so easy. On that that way you don't have to think. You just, once yeah. you do, you do your increases, you get the bottom, yeah. Yeah. and then you just go... Blah, 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 blah. And literally... I, like, I don't know, did joins used to be like the stitch marker kind of? Because like now with stitch markers, I feel like it serves the purpose. Maybe. Yeah. It may have been. I just feel like joins don't look good, personally. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think it also... It interrupts it. With a long color change, like you, you would want it to it. be continuous. You yeah. want it to be... Yeah, so that was... Be seamless. So, so basically, you know, I did... When I got to the point where I stopped increasing, I put my progress keeper on there and I just counted my rows from there till I was mm -hmm. done. That's fine. Till I got to the, yeah. So it's also nice, like once you p get past the increases, you're not even moving your, your um, stitch marker along with you. Yeah, no, That's I'm lazy. Nice. I never yeah. move my stitch marker. If I was marker. smart, I would have oh, handled right at the join. But I wasn't smart. You can okay. see your line of crochet better than I can. Every four, <laughs> like, move it up, move it up, move it up. Because otherwise I can't. Well, definitely for increases, you have to, like, yeah, for increases. Yeah, for increases, yeah. I, I moved it all along with the increases. But part of it, too, like, when you crochet, it does... Angle. It, it angles. And so basically, I kind of ignore the angle by just counting the rows. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you go, you know, See, I I'm learning whether the stuff that I'm doing is like yeah. the right thing. To do I mean, not the right thing. Well, for something like this, though, it's like, you know, you just want it to be a circle. Like it doesn't yeah. need yeah. to be a specific no, thing. Matter. But yeah, I do remember noticing that. I don't know. At some point about crochet, it's like, oh, look at that. It kind of it does angle. So yeah, if you actually you end your row notice. at the same spot, um, you, it goes, it, it's shorter. Your thing winds up not being a complete circle over. Oh. Yeah. So that explains because I started this, and I was do, when I was doing the, and I, that was bo bothering me that yeah. like my joint that, was like. It's because of the way this like this the hole that you go in is kind of to the right of the oh, stitch that you see. So you have to go yeah. like one. Yeah. No wonder I was driving me crazy. That's good to know that I wasn't completely screwing it up. Like no, I that, that is the way. That is the way it works. So but okay. it's like, but you can, but depending on what you're doing, something like this, I just went to. It was kind of above it. Yeah, I didn't, for this, yeah. it's like a design feature almost. Yeah. Well, because yeah. it has the long gradient. Sorry, I'm just showing the, the bottom. The bottom. When, <laughs> when I got the bottom of the base finished, I'm like, I love number this. Three. Yes, magic ring number three. Uh, love it. Because <laughs> there is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is there, there magic ring number four? Yeah. So yeah. you want to pull it out? Yeah, I was not oh, right. While while Haley was yes. bringing out her magic ring, I forgot I was going to mention. I learned about invisible decreases. Ooh. From from the pen. Wow. How do you, what, no, so do like where I mean. you, so this one I didn't do the in invisible decrease. Okay. And this one I did. How do you do an invisible decrease? You, you decrease through the front loops. Slip. Yeah. Or this one you decrease through the front loops. That's what I did. That works too. Yeah, because it, it, if you have, if you do it through the front, it's basically the same. It's just reducing the density. Here, yeah. I'll project to the camera. Sorry if you couldn't Yeah, because I, <laughs> I, this is what I, mm, here, you can see how on this foot, block you guys, on this foot, you can see like stuffing through, and on this foot, you can't, and it looks better. This is the one that I like. It was like, huh, maybe I should figure this out mm -hmm. instead of imagining how one should decrease. <laughs> so normally so. with a decrease, you pull, you go into the next stitch and you pull up a loop, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go into the stitch after that mm -hmm. and you pull up a loop mm -hmm. and then you go through all three. You just loop them yeah. together. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you do, if That's you what do, I do, like, if you're going through both loops, you pull and you have, like, your starting loop and then like two loops instead of like you're basically doing a single crochet but with an extra loop but you're like pretending to ignore the extra loop right and then you just pull through but to do like a more invisible decrease so a it closes it up more and shows less stuffing which is good for Amy Groomy but b it um it looks more like a regular stitch instead of being a noticeable not that it mm -hmm. necessarily matters but if you want it to be like a smooth look across the project that would be what you would yeah. want to do. But how do you, how do, do, you it? do it? It reduces <clears throat> the density. So basically you can do, if you're going through both loops in a project, 
you can do the front loops and it does essentially the same thing. Oh, okay. Instead of going through both loops and it kind of stays where it is because like it's so dense, like both loops are so dense, it just kind of stays. It like squishes down. But the way I do it, the way I learned from Planet June, you go through and basically do a slit, like you pick up the loops normally, but instead of wrapping again and pulling through the, the wrap mm -hmm. through the loops, you pull the third loop on oh. your hook. Oh. Through, through the front the two. Other two, so it's basically a slit. Oh. Okay, okay, it's I like see. Oh, that's really yeah. clever. So but this clever. one, I, now you're reminding me what I did. I <laughs> remember, it almost ended up being half double. Not really. So I did the first, the front loops of the next two, mm -hmm. and then pulled my loop through the front two loops, and then did another yarn over pull through. Mm. Yeah, so it right. makes it taller. Too. It did make it taller, but it turned. Yeah, that is nice. like a half double. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to totally try this. that because, yeah, I don't know enough about both crochet increases and decreases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning as I go. These little guys help, though, like tiny projects. Yeah. 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 You sort of use things. I and... love your Charmander. So I know. Nice. I can't get over how cute he is. So, I, I, I totally just the cutest little. He's so oh, adorable. He taught a me a lot. Fire tail. I got a lot better. And now, now I really am feeling like I have to do some uh, Emmy for, for Gene. You know, it's so funny. He was listening when we did our live podcast. Oh. We were like, mew, 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 mew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, but he was in and out, so he didn't listen to the whole thing. I'm I, sure I don't he think he. I don't no, think he heard. Didn't register. And he will probably be standing right here listening to this part. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking well, about. We, me. we know, we know. But I am definitely going to have to make him some Animal Crossing Emmy for yeah. Father's Day. Yeah. Yeah. And the um, curling. Rock. Oh, oh yes, oh, you rock. should make him a curling thing. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. All right. So wait, He's what's your other ring. magic loop? Oh yeah, so this, this is, is magic ring number four. Or magic ring. Yeah. Magic ring. So here we are. Oh, oh, she wants to. That's so cute. So, so adorable. Yes. And here he was just finished this morning. Finished this oh, morning. Wow. The eyes. The so eyes were finished this morning. An hour, two hours ago. Um, yeah, and you used felt on your eyes. Yeah. So this is um, this is Munchy Monster by Monstrous Toy Box, Alyssa Vosnack, who is no longer active, sad. but I love her patterns. Um, I discovered her through the Fresh Stitches group in the old last decade. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, she was inspired by Fresh Stitches designs, and as you see, as you may note, the back loop only mm -hmm. style, mm -hmm. which is the same as the hat. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have two black loop only and two <gasps> double, two yes, both loops. Yes, two both loops. <laughs> so this goes back to my roots of learning. Of all, of all the toys, yeah. 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 So this is for Mr. Harvey because he loves his food. So he loves his play food. Yeah. The Munchie Monster will. Play so the Munchie Monster ones. can eat all you, the food. He has, you, when he you has clean up, tummy. you put all the play food in his belly. <gasps> tummy. Isn't He's that so the cutest gross. thing? So, I love it. Yeah. So he's just gonna eat his little. And look how cute the inside. Is like a, oh it's like goodness. white with the same multi as the outside, oh, that's and so cool. the roof of his mouth is pink. <laughs> I love it. It. Me, it gives me very Muppet. Like after I finished it, it looks yeah. very Muppet. Yeah. From the top. So I think we should hold up all of our all of our magic rings because I'm so proud of us. Look at all of our crochet. Magic rings. Oh, I put my ball show, show, show his butt. Show his butt. Show his bum. <laughs> Yay! All the magic rings. <laughs> magic rings. Magic rings. All the crochet. We did, we did a lot of crochet. crochet. A lot of crochet, crochet going on this That's week. What's for going sure. on? Yeah. It's quick, man. It's quick. Definitely. Talk, <laughs> I'm talking about quick. It's quick. Literally Finishing Charmander at one in the morning, the day before the birthday, it doesn't feel quick. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. No, like, a lot of crochet. I, how many months ago did I start this? It's I know, but I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you got to bring it back and show around. before. Yeah. Yeah. We have mo Do we have socks? We do have socks. We have socks this week. I don't have socks this week. Really? It's almost 20 up. Shocker. Almost 20 up. <laughs> so I'm waiting so. for that super secret thing for our socks. Yeah. Well, it's coming. So, um, so finished object number two for me is my Tidy Socks by Cassie. Nice. <laughs> tidy yellows. Tidy, tidy yellows. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just realized how weird that is. <laughs> um, it is, uh, the yarn is Combat Boots and Baby Doll Dresses colorway of Spun color. Right Round Classic Sock. Yeah, I do that, too. I really love it. That would make a really pretty Tenya too. That would Oh, really that would be gorgeous. Tenya. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I already have my Too many options. Too many options. But, um, 
yeah, these were really fun to do. I did um, a twisted rib. I did not follow the pattern exactly as written. I did a standard heel flap and gusset. She mm -hmm. had an interesting detail where the gusset was pearl stitches. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but cool. that wasn't, I didn't buy the pattern for that. I just bought the pattern for the, the pattern the on the top pattern. of the foot. So, um, so that part is the same as what she did. But yeah, I did my standard. Oh, and actually, can you hand me, where is I my- I love the hot pink. Pops a little. Yeah. Pops my summer sock like in here. Little job. One thing. Totally no, this, this one. It's in here. Really cute. One thing that I have been kind of promising myself I'd do for a while, and I finally did do as I was working on these socks. I did a little sock cheat sheet for myself. Yeah. That is tiny enough to go in my project bag because I'm still. I don't know what this is. This is my fifth pair of socks this year. Yeah. I feel like your crazy. stitches are tightening up. It yeah. made, the yarn made a big difference. It's so, it's, it's a it finer It makes a difference on the wear fingering. of your socks too. Yeah, yeah definitely. Your stitches are tighter. And I'm working on it. Whoa. Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so sorry. You okay? I'm you, putting you, my water bottle. You're shadowing your mom. <laughs> so, even though this is my fifth pair of socks this year, I still, I don't really think of myself as a true sock knitter. I'm like. You're going to have to revise I'm, that. I know, I know. Soon. I'm, I'm <laughs> getting there. But partly, like, I, one of the things that I love about socks is that they can be kind of mindless. It's that yeah. portable project. Yeah. But in order them for, for them to be truly mindless for me, I need a cheat sheet. Yeah. yeah. So I did do a little cheat sheet. I've got, cat, I do like, what my standard sock is. Cast on 64 stitches. Uh, and I did it so that like it would be possibly useful to somebody else too. So we'll see. I may do something with this. I don't know. If you have any interest in your own personalized sock cheat sheet, let me yeah. know. We'll, yeah. We'll see whether that's like something that we can. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, that would be a good idea. You could yeah. do it like a Google form or you could yes. plug in the numbers. And I can make it look prettier too. And then like. Put your name on it yeah. and all that. So I've got, you know, just the basics. And I, I don't think I have any in here with me right now, but um, I love to use the highlighter tape. Like on most of my patterns, mm -hmm. I definitely yeah. have it on my brioche pattern. Mm -hmm. So I, that's what I would do with this just to like, like, you know, know what I'm up to. I mean, I just, I threw this in the bag this morning because I wanted to talk about it. But, you know, I've got the number of stitches I cast on, how many rounds I work for my cuff, how, about how many rounds I work for my leg before I start the heel flap. The thing that I always get messed up with um, on the heel turn is how many you do, how many you knit, and then how many you before purl. You yeah. And, and so I've just got those little things in there so that if I am at the point of a sock when I'm out and about, and I don't have my full pattern with me, I know how many to do. So, so for clever. me, it's 16 and three. And um, yeah, to all those little details. So it's on this tiny, it's a quarter of a quarter of a standard letter size piece of Easy paper. Easy enough to just pop in your bag. Yeah, exactly. Years ago, and I mean like literally 20 years ago, I did something similar, but like not in a coherent fashion that anyone else could read. Just what I would <laughs> uh -huh, know uh -huh. for socks on an index card. Uh -huh, yeah, um, exactly. It's, it, yeah. it's kind of like, I it's have just the formula, right? Yeah. It's like, just what, just what you, you do, know. especially because like, if you're, you know, out, if you are out and about, it's like, Oh yeah, how many how many yeah, racks do I do? Really how many whatever? Yeah. Or even with this sock, it was like I I did do kind of an even number of pattern repeats before I started for the heel. Mm -hmm. But it was good to know what kind of what I was going for. Like, right. it would, should it have been five or should it have been six? And for this, five was fine. Five plus the ribbing. Yeah. And I have enough left of this that I'm definitely going to do shorties with contrasting heel toes. Yeah, cute. Yeah, I have like, I don't know, like 38 grams or something. Yeah. So. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah. Love it. Kelly, do you have any socks? I do. These oh. were a half finished object last time. So mm -hmm. now they're a full finished object. Yay. They nice. are the Bruce Pop Art so um, Ancient pretty. Arts. Mm -hmm. Sock Nado. Yes, yeah, Sock Nado. Yeah. And I, I love do them. love how they, they, the second one did not, uh, pool in the same way. Yeah, that mm -hmm. happened. I, I don't know like why. Hoping I think it would because it might just be tension. Well, yeah, I that, yeah, and like I think one like the way that mm -hmm. yarns in a like when it's dyed, mm -hmm. the way that it mm -hmm. like settles on one part of the skein differently than the other. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. It changes but, the way it pulls. Yeah, I that like happens both. so often. <clears throat> yeah. They're so cute. Yeah. Thank you. Love them. So I did a little twisted rib and I started, this was the first time I did a stocking at heel. I think that's going to be my go-to now. Yeah. Now I'm wearing one. She wears them with I'm Burks, wearing, so she doesn't yeah. have to worry about the wear on the heel. I'm wearing the pink. To, oh, I love <laughs> the pink, pink Mrs. Ones. Crosby. Well, and, and also yeah. with sock nato, it's like, it's so thick you don't have to worry about the wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, um, mm -hmm. you'll see in my whip, I was like, this is, this, this feels thinner, like the one I'm working on now, because mm -hmm. this one is chunkier, so. Mm -hmm. so very solid sock. Love it. Lots of pops of color in this. Oh yeah, so fun. Any other finished objects? 
Those are my two. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm Anything gonna have else? to probably bolt in. Well, I have to go in 15 minutes. All right, let's see if we can finish this up. We have, well, or I can just leave y'all. Works in progress. But why don't no, you talk about your works in progress? Do your work in progress you, you first. Go ahead and do it okay. First. Yeah. <clears throat> well, um, quickly, I'm still working on my Helen Stewart sock. So my Charmander had to take precedence. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> you had so, deadline. Birthday yeah. gifts, especially for little children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally top priority. Because um, they remember what day it is. Yeah. And you yes. can't give them an IOU. Um, <laughs> okay. But I did get through the heel turn. which So now this is a vanilla sock on the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, I showed off, I showed this off last week. And yeah, I think it bubbles. showed... Yeah, the this is the picnic blanket sock by Helen Stewart as part, which is part of the Handmade Sock Society number four. Um, yay! So now Love the heel that. is turned, the decreases are done on the gusset. So now it's just plain mm -hmm. vanilla bottom. This is the so cute magic ball crystal ball color uh -huh. um, spun right round i love that color it's so pretty love, yeah. love, love that it's color and just a little bit of texture is fun um certainly i don't think you'd have gotten anything out of this texture more from having a solid color versus a no, not solid no. color no. so i think no no i think especially when you're wearing it i think you'll oh, yeah. still see that it's just gonna look know. like an 80 sloshy sock honestly mm -hmm. it's gonna look adorable <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's gonna be super cute. That's my sock. Yay. We are, we promised that we would have our sock plan out, but yes. we don't yet. But, but we're so close. We're, we're so super close. close. Yeah. It's in the works. It's gonna come. <clears throat> Um, you guys are like the first or the second to know, depending on whether or not you sign up for the newsletter. Right? <laughs> there you go. Exactly. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, exactly. But it's coming. And we'll do socks that are cast on June first. So if you have your yarn, right, Get ready. and you're like waiting, go ahead. It is June first. Yeah, cast like on sock, is June one. Yeah. Some of your socks it always. will count for at least a few squares of bingo, regardless of which pattern you pick. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So long as it's not an infant sock, mm -hmm. otherwise you're good. What um, else do you have? <clears throat> let's see. Whips. Um, other whips I have. Um, I have my Ooh. garden state. I have a yarn barf here, so that's why. Oh. Like, <laughs> We're just gonna going ignore on. the yarn barf. And a mid row. Um, but but I took so a pretty. I took a picture of this one. So I actually didn't make a ton of progress from the last last week. Um, had I started the bees last time or no? No, I had not. Right? Mm. Yeah, because no. I, I I worked on them before knit night on my, or it's our um, knit along Zoom. So mm -hmm. when we have knit alongs uh, or when I'm hosting a knit along, we have Zoom meetups um <clears throat> and this one has three there's one left um and this knit along goes to the end of june so you actually have plenty of time um i did most of this in 10 days um so pretty and i'm on the last lace section before the end but charmander i could have been finished with this shawl but charmander took my time but <clears throat> one reason I love knit alongs is that other people are doing the same pattern as you at the mm -hmm. same time. And mm -hmm. so you can talk about like things you changed, what you noticed in the pattern, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. so Just one like thing, the best way to do certain things. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And so I was um, knitting along on the, on the, the little bees lace. Um, and I noticed that the decrease used was slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over, right? Mm -hmm between two yarn overs, which is not a symmetrical decrease. No. Um, and I was like, well, maybe it would look better symmetrical. Let me try it. So the last half of the first row, last third of the first row, I just switched to center double decreases. Mm -hmm. Did I go back and redo the decreases in the rest of the row? No, I did not. No, I just not. switched mid row. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, and so I was like talking about that on knit night and then Judy, who's knitting along with us and is one of our um, knit night regulars, Judy, um, and podcast regular, right? And podcast watchers. <laughs> um, she said, "Well, I noticed when I did it that the little, um, the way that's written in the pattern sort of looks like antenna." And I'm like, "It does look like antenna." <laughs> So then my next row, I switched it back. Mm -hmm. um, I can really see it. Yeah, yeah here. you can it see. Does. That's that's cool. Yeah, I took a picture, and that's why I finished this last row, per, well, mid-row pearl, because I wanted to take a picture of it. So you can mm -hmm. see yeah. the difference mm -hmm. between the center double decreases, uh -huh. which is symmetrical, uh -huh. and the ones with the antennas. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Cute. So 
I have a picture of that. I'll put it in and show you what I'm doing if somebody on our podcast is knitting along with us. Nice. Yes, yes. I would I recommend it. I love this pattern. Um, I'm knitting this in uh, Tosh. Oh yeah, I should take this because otherwise... Well, I have two sets of these. Um, so there's actually about... And I've lost a few. So there's six. <laughs> yeah. We all right. lose the double points. <laughs> there's six double points in here. Yeah. I'll be okay. So um, this is using Tosh Merino Light, the single plies, um, which is just lovely and super, super soft. Mm -hmm. um, this is another one of those yarns that if folks are like, if, if you if you think that wool itches and it's going to scratch you, Tosh Reno Light cannot, unless you're allergic to wool, like seriously allergic. Yeah. But it, there's zero prickle in this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Eyes your face. <laughs> it's so nice. Um, yeah, and this is the first shawl I've knit and Tosh made a light in like four years, and mm -hmm. I'm remembering why I love it so much. Yeah, right. It's a great yarn. Um, oh, I brought over this little thing because I did felt his oh, eyes. Yes. yes. Oh, cool. It Excellent. was 10 o'clock at night, and I realized I didn't have any white felt. Oh, oh no! Um, and it was like crisis disaster. But Abby had gotten um, the wool pets oh, bees. Yeah. Oh uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. So she, had, she little... had white and black from the bees and Lily had gotten some oink bumps. Mm -hmm. Like a whole rainbow set. So she had the blue. So I was like, oh, you, don't like you were able to <laughs> grab it. <laughs> like, I just need a tiny little bit. Goes, stash, 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 stash. Right. Yeah. So I, I needle felt mm -hmm. in his eyes. So cute. Yeah. So, but we have these if you too want to be prepared for 10 o'clock at night adventures, um, these we are got with so our perfect. last, uh, with our last fragis, these gumball packs, which have 12 different colors. Perfect. Like a whole rainbow. And they're yes. so reasonable too. How much are they again? Eight bucks. Yeah. They're for 12 perfect. colors. Yeah. It's, it's so perfect. It really is. You very can do useful to have needle felt your that. way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and my very last whip which I didn't talk much about last time. I talked extensively on our podcast with no sound. Yes. Um, oh, right. And then I didn't talk much about it on our podcast live. With sound. With sound. Right. So it's hard for me to remember like how much I, I know. Yeah. It's... Um, but this is my Mino vest um, <clears throat> by uh, Sylvia Watts Cherry. Um, and so I'm through the first repeat I think once I get another repeat done, I'm going to be about, I might be a repeat and a half, about to the sleeve divide. I also have not made a ton of progress on this this week, um, but I think I mentioned in the live that I would talk more about it this time. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this I'm knitting, this was in, this pattern was in by hand uh, cereal, mm -hmm. which we started carrying because I love yes. it so much. It is it's beautiful. It's such a great, yeah, it's so um, nice. each cereal is like about a location so this one is about northern california about stores farms sewers sewers mm -hmm. sewists um makers and all sorts of and then they have patterns and so photography is beautiful it's yeah, really inspirational it's gorgeous sewing yeah. knitting crochet cooking mm -hmm. yep. cocktails sorry <laughs> um this is the most recent one about Rhode Island, mm -hmm. um, which features two makers that we have at the store. That's right. Yeah. For, and which is sort of the crossover. This is from, uh, look, this pattern is in, this is 15, so this one is 15, 15. This one's in 12, which was London. Sylvia Butts Cherry is from uh -huh. London. So mm -hmm. this is her pattern. Um, the London one is sold out everywhere. I mm -hmm. couldn't even order them to get them here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, but they just released it digitally on Ravelry, so you oh, can cool. nice. like just just in the past couple of Get weeks. The patterns. So That's now great. you can access <coughs> the Mino Pulver pattern yeah. online digitally, which is great. Um, but I'm using yarn that's featured in this one. Yes. Isn't that like crossover weird? I didn't it's even great. know this was coming out when I started this. Right, which is right. Like I love nuts. it. That is cool. Um, but this one is the Rhode Island one, which has two makers. First, Katrinkles. Who we love. We love Katrinkles. Do I have Katrinkles stuff? I do. I have Katrinkles tags on my yeah. bags right now. <laughs> um, saying that these are socks and these are Pokeballs. 
That way, when I tell my husband which bag to get, I can find it. that our name tags that everyone wears in the store yes. Yes. Yeah, from Katrinkles, among many stitch markers and other things. Yeah, usually. Yeah. The wool walk stitch markers? Yep. Oh, you had the wool walk stitch marker on your garden state. Oh, yeah, I did. I had both <laughs> wool walk stitch markers, actually, in my garden state. Um, Yay! So, Northlight Fibers is also featured, which this is their Spring Street, their fingering weight. Mm -hmm. um, which is so lovely to work with. I love yeah, the shawl that I made This out is of the it. first garment I've made out of this, and it's so lovely. It is really, it's really lovely. as it's smooth lovely. as cotton, I feel like, but it has like it's the spring just, of wool. It does, yeah. yeah. It's like I know. crazy. It, it's, so, it's such beautifully made yarn, and it's one of those things where I feel like it, it looks kind of simple on the shelf. You don't yes. realize quite it's, how beautiful it is. Um, yeah. And then when so, you start working with it, you're like, this is amazing it yarn. Is. I had the really same is. experience yeah. with the Water Street DK. Oh, I, absolutely. Yeah. My, well, though, that I feel a little bit more like, I mean, I have had people come in and buy that and just keep the skeins to pet them because yeah. it is so... I'm I, suspecting. I have, That's the word I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm suspecting. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's, they're all, they're lovely yarns. They are, me. like, exceptional. Yeah, um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. anyway, we just restocked. Yes, we did. We did a big So restart. this is this is so, uh, a selection. Of I love the hot pink. The hot I pink love so the hot fun. pink too. Like yep. this would be a fun. Oh my gosh, that would be yes. so fun. Yes. yes. Anyway, I think we went through a few options, options last, last time. time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but definitely don't sleep on that yarn because that yeah. one is right. Amazing. You have to work with it for yeah. like five minutes. Once you. <laughs> To this become a total fan. Yarn. Once you yeah. work with it, you're like, else. oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It is unsuspecting. Lovely. Totally. It's really lovely. Totally. So one of the things that I've been experimenting with, because obviously we've established when I do something not optimally, I don't go back and change it, right? Like different decreases on both feet, different decreases on my shawl. This one is different color dominance <laughs> within the same <laughs> garment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't change it. We're going to keep going. Next time I'll know. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a it's a learning experience. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's the, it's the record. It's history record. It is. Yeah. Yeah. You can say, like, yeah. this is and where I figured it out. Yeah. Right. Well, obviously, it takes me a while to figure things out because it, yeah. I got a good <laughs> three inches into the color work of this before I figured out how to do it. Um, but this one's interesting because you look at this and you think that the mint is the background color and the, the, the brown is called Wara, that's the color name, is the foreground color, right? Which means you're going to hold the foreground color on the left as you're knitting and the background color on the right as you knit color work. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how I started it. But then actually in this little part of the pattern, mm -hmm. the the mint was receding so much, mm -hmm. and so the details in here were like getting sucked into the wara, um, which wasn't good. Like you can't see the details in these little half semicircle mm -hmm. things here. So I was like, well, fine. So I'll switch it and I'll make the, maybe the mint's supposed to be the foreground mm -hmm. or the foreground color and the, the wara should be the background. So I tried that for six rows, um, but then, I didn't like the way that looked like on the stripes. Then the mint, the the war was getting sucked in too much, and it was like too minty. Um, so now, finally, after about 15 rows of this colorwork design, now I knit the wara as the foreground color until I get to the half circles. Mm -hmm. Then switch the foreground color and background color. Knit the half circles, then switch them back again. Knit mm -hmm. till I get to the next half circle. Switch them back again. So. You don't have to decide when you're doing color work. I feel like yeah, that's... Yeah, it doesn't have to be one yeah. or the other for the whole round. And had I swatched, this is something that would be really useful <laughs> to find out in your swatch. Oh, they swatch. This is why we say to swatch. Yeah. Yes. Or yes. Yeah. accept it. Right, or live with right. Or rip it. <laughs> yeah. Swatch, accept, or rip. <laughs> yes, one of the two. And I either accept or rip usually. Um, yes. This one I really was knitting while I was feeding a baby. So, you're swatching not. is sort of a challenge when you're feeding a baby because you, I don't know, I mean, it's hard to do it on like bigger needles and it's hard to feed a baby with tiny needles in the round. Yeah, because you're going to put them <laughs> in his little face. Yeah, so, I don't know. There's, there's a lot when you're feeding a baby that you just accept. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to do this project. I'm going to do it while I feed a baby. Although, he's really getting too big for me to knit or crochet while just I feed him now. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's like almost 18 pounds, so. 
Well, that's a little he's much. A big he's a lot easier to knit with when he was ten pounds. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because they're did, just little. Do you do you like normally like let them decide when they're done with breastfeeding, or do you kind of decide? Or well, I usually decide. I usually kick the baby. Well, normally, in a normal year, I work in insurance and I'd be traveling, mm -hmm. right? right? And right. so you have even a one day business trip, and at least for my forty year old body, or thirty seven with the last one or whatever. One day business trip, and your body's like, oh, baby doesn't need this anymore. We're done. We're done. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you know, it's like your supply is gone. Mm -hmm. um, but I haven't had that with, with Teddy. Uh -huh. Like, there's no reason. And, like, your boobs feel full. Sorry, Jean. We're on to, <laughs> we're on to lady talk. Issue. Um, <laughs> right? Like, your boobs feel full, and you're like, Oh, I'm gonna cut them off tomorrow. I really want to nurse, right? <laughs> and so it's that's the thing. It's uncomfortable for yeah, you too, for sure. right? For You're sure. like, is it dinner time yet? Um, yeah, I feel those cows like in the field who voluntarily <laughs> come to be milked because it's like because they're like, it's, it's time. time. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> You're totally ready. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, I might have right. to go it's, to it's North Carolina in a few weeks. So if I do, that might be when I cut him off. That might be his. But this is like one of the longest I've fed a baby. Mm -hmm. I usually like peter out somewhere around five months. Oh, well. But anyway. I went over a year with both pumping mm -hmm. and nursing. Mm -hmm. Freaking nightmare. I got, um, hate pumping. Yeah, I hate it. I've got to head out. Oop. Oop. I've got to head out. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this um, time. I got, what do you call it? What's the thrush? Oh. One time. Mm. With a pump, Terrible. and then it got in the pump, and it was just a mess. So uh, uh, yeah. I'm not. I that was when I was like, <laughs> never using these things again. <laughs> I'm done. Mm -hmm. So yeah. oh my it's God. all had, au natural or nothing. I use. had a pump at home. I had a pump at work. Yeah. I had a hand pump at home. I had a hand pump at work. I had a hand pump for travel. I used to do that. It was it was a lot. After the thrush, I just can't take it. Oh yeah, no. I'm traumatized. We we tried we tried breastfeeding. Haley used to fall asleep. She oh was yes, she the lazy baby. Yeah, <laughs> lazy baby. Teddy was wow. like that the first month. Max too. I had to like we stripped him down so he was freezing cold. Yeah. And he was yeah. like, I'm so cold. We're like, but now you're not going to fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, Haley had to, she, they gave her a bottle in the hospital and that kind of was the end mm. of it. It was so much easier. Why and did they do that? Because uh, it, was, it was a whole, no, it was it, the 2000s. they weren't, yeah. they weren't supposed to do it, but it was, um, they was, thought you had jaundice and I don't know. There was yeah, a whole series were, uh, of. No, yeah. it was a lot no different longer. having babies in 2000 than it is in 2020. Yeah. I just have to say, like, there wasn't the back to sleep thing in 2000 either. Oh yeah, it was no. the side sleeping thing. Side sleeping. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They had back to sleep in 2008, which was yeah. Uh, yes, they Max. did. Yeah. yeah, my second generation of kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Good time. I must must go. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. Bye. Say bye to Amanda. <laughs> so more finished. Uh, oh, no, more whips. whips. More whips. 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 More whips. So right. I have my avalanche, uh, which I got distracted by like the hat and the shawl and it was mm -hmm. hot. So I am, I've got yes. like 50 yes. strings, <laughs> lots of, lots of strings. I'm getting on the sleeve. Oh, so it's right going relatively my quickly whips. actually. Um, so I'm on the first sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. So I think I'm gonna do this three quarter sleeves, uh, and then a bit of twisted rib and a tubular bind off. But oh, this should, it's coming along. It's coming along. Oh, Almost done. So pretty. Boop. Okay. Um, and see, I can totally fit this sweater. I'm like, I'm rolling it up. I know, tonight, right? But yeah. I'm gonna jam this sucker in there. Efficiency. Efficiency. <laughs> Shove it in. I mean, it won't fully shut, but it doesn't need to fully shut. It just needs to stay in. Mm -hmm. Actually, it could shut. See. Secure. <laughs> that is a bulky weight sweater in a what 52 inch bus size. You can get that in there. <laughs> there we are. The the yarn is nice and squishy too. The yarn is nice and squishy. I think this well. is the thing. Like a lot of yarn is nice and squishy. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Just yeah. jam it in. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. this this is the bag. I'm using the yeah. same size bag same for size bag. a summer sweater, but this bigger bag is what I'm using mm -hmm. for my burrito shawl, which is right now. I'm in my fifth skein of DK. Whoa, so that's like sweater size. Gonna be yeah, yeah. So, and I really hope that this would be done. But as I was telling Jen when we got here, we we had uh, we were invited to a friend's house for a barbecue yesterday, and, and I thought we were gonna 
Oh, I, I thought it was off the needles for a second. Oh, I thought it was off the needles. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, ah! Did you hear that? Su- the silence <laughs> the, is so the loud. Sudden the sudden the silence breath. was We're so all loud. like, oh. oh we all <laughs> I know. The well, brioche off the needles time. is oh, definitely oh, trying oh, to get oh, out of the bag. I want to see the thumbnail of that with all of our faces. But um, I really thought I'd finish this, and I did. I did a few rows while we were there. We yeah. um, we we made it really easy on ourselves. We got pizza. We had a lot of. We got pastries from a pastry shop. First, um, before that, we got vaccinated. Oh yeah, all, we're all, everyone's all fully vaccinated. We we hugged when we when we got together. Oh. Um, yeah, they're basically like Haley's Haley's um, fuzzins. Fuzzins, exactly. Fuzzins. Yeah, not quite cousins, but <laughs> friend cousins. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was so good to all be together, and I thought we'd be there for like two, three hours at the most. We got there at six. We didn't get home till eleven. There you go. <laughs> and, As always. Yeah. Sometimes that's sometimes you need that. I mean, that's yeah. what I think well, we exactly. missed a lot of the first past time. Year. I mean, we we did. We got together on there. Um, they have a nice big back deck. We got together. I don't know. At some point last like year, July or when August, yeah, well, like, when everyone was masked and yeah, everything, and, yeah. and we all sat like they Outdoors. sat on one side of the deck, we sat on the other <laughs> side of the deck. But we hadn't really done anything, um, you know, like a, a normal sort of social event. So that right. it was really nice, and I think everyone right. was just enduring it. So I did not finish this. I'm I was, impressed you did brioche at all in a social gathering. Yeah. You know what? This pattern, like, there's one out of every eight rows. You really have to pay attention. It's great. And then well, other than that, that the practice yeah, stuff. yeah. Other than that, really, it's like the first three stitches, and then it's slip on yarn over brioche, slip on, you know, slip yeah. on over brioche, just, and brioche, bark, and then or, and slip on yarn over and burp. So, yeah. um, you know, lots of burping. <laughs> so cute. So, so here, cute. let's see. It's it is. I've finished um, the full. Reveal. I've added the third skein of. Uh, Tosh DK in Smokestack cool. Optic because I wasn't, oh, I didn't think it was going to be quite big enough if I ended it, um, you know, with, with two because these are, I love are, this. I love it too. Thank you. These are 225 yards and yeah, the other I'll color, the thanks. So we can see your face. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. The other color I'm using is, um, spun right around squish dk which is 250 yards so i have 500 yards of this color so i figured i would do you know approximately equal yes. amounts of both and actually you end with the light color so oh, the, so i really i'm gonna go till this is just about done i mean i'll end it at a normal point for the pattern right. Um, like right before that eighth row like when you start with your next set of branches yeah so yeah i don't know i've got like it 13 grams 13 left or something or yeah something. yeah i so, love this it's so squashy it's so and so delicious. Nice. Yeah. And I'm amazing. I really, yes. really was hoping it would be done, but it's so close. It'll definitely It'll be, be done, done next time. It'll be done when it's uh, blocked. Yeah, um, I'll I will I'll try to finish it today and actually just go oh, ahead and block it. That was the other thing. So I knew gorgeous. if I finished it over the weekend with all the rain we had, it was not going to be dry. It was never going to dry. It was so, so rainy. Yeah, it was so wet except for yesterday. I so, love it. Thank you. I'm, I'm really happy so with it. Yeah. So this is um, Whispering Willows by Sasha Green, Insatiable Knits on Ravelry and Instagram. Yeah. Who is one of our colleagues here at Irania? Who's an amazingly talented designer. Designer. She is. She's and lovely person. Really extraordinary. Great teacher. Yeah. Um, Oh my gosh, yeah. And um, yeah, so it's so close to being done. It's really, it's really so close. close. I put the things now. back on. Oh, thank you. Because the diddly boppers. Yes. Yeah. Diddly now I now that will haunt all of us. Be like, no, no brooch off the needle. So, and I, I took my little, uh, you know, ho- project holder off before mm-hmm. before I came today <laughs> instead of mm-hmm. having to try to wrangle instead it. Clipping it up. It's it's just fitting in this bag now, and this. Is oh, I would say you can shove more in that bag. <laughs> There's so much. In Mine is there, densely there is packed. Mine's like top. an amigurumi. Uh, so that's true. densely packed. packed like an amigurumi. So the other thing, and this is both. This is a, a whip for both Haley and me, and Look then I'll your cute talk bags. about. Yes. Yeah, so it is June first. It is <laughs> summer sock camp day. Love Thank you, crazy sock lady. Um. So these are our bags from So Crazy Crafter. Love it. Vita, that's her right? Ed- I think her name yes. is Vita. Mm-hmm. That's and her Etsy. Mm-hmm. She has amazing designs. She's got such cute designs. And so they are cute. her bags are so beautifully made as well. They're really, um, you know, nice heavy mm-hmm. canvas. This is all machine embroidery that she does. Wow. That, that's kind of her thing. She does like really fun machine embroidery mm-hmm. patterns on, you know, the, the natural color canvas. And then cute. accents that match. And what's inside? So what is inside is the Summer Sock Camp colorway from Desert Vista Dye Works. Nice. Summer Sock Camp 2021. Oh, we're and twinning here. Yes, yeah, so we are twinning, twinning, though we are using different... And also, I split my ball in oh, half already. Oh, you split yours. I That's did. That's why it's different. 
Because yeah. I was like, I wound mine into a ball. I've learned that like winding from the skein into a cake if I'm hand winding, I'll just wind it into a ball, it's quicker. Mm -hmm. And then, and then wind the, the cake from cake. the ball. Because yeah. like if I'm going to work on it right then, winding it twice is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, but all that to say, we don't have the exact same color starting. Our mm -hmm. Well, so every skate may not start with exactly the same color anyway. It's possible. Yeah, I don't what, know if that's... Whatever, I don't have any... I don't know could be twins. twins. Striping you dyers be will be fraternal twins. You'll be yeah. fraternal How twins. How you do your magic. Yeah. So are you, what is the, what's the pattern you're working on? So I'm working on my, my little simple sock, my kind of yes. basic sock. Um, I decided to do this one as Knit Your Pearl 2. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I've never actually gotten to use self-striping yarn. I mean, the self. these are like five row stripes, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. I feel like I just want to let like the, the fun of that kind of play. Yeah. And yeah. I think the two by two will be, I don't, you know, sometimes you just feel like something is a good fit. Um, like Harvey says, it's vanilla. <laughs> vanilla. It's vanilla. vanilla socks. I do yes, love vanilla. vanilla socks. I vanilla. love vanilla too, way, much, way more than chocolate. For yeah, agreed. <laughs> agreed. Did you know vanilla is actually way more popular than chocolate? In the because world, it's so much better. Well, I mean, don't don't an, at me, chocolate. It's people. an ingredient it. in chocolate, so that's yes, amazing. exactly, yes. exactly. You cannot have chocolate without vanilla. Vanilla is more complex than chocolate. Mm -hmm. A good vanilla, mm -hmm. a crappy vanilla, sure. is a crappy vanilla. <laughs> Nobody likes that. Ugh. Nobody likes that. So, Haley, what are you are you doing? Also, a vanilla oh, yeah. stuff, so or I'm, are you doing yes. a pattern? And I'm doing I'm magic doing loop. Um, also vanilla. One I, of <laughs> one of the things with um, one of the things with summer sock camp there. So crazy sock lady has a group on Ravelry. Go check it out. Um, there are different cabins. So and you oh. can you can either you know you can kind of hang out in different cabins. You don't have to pick one and go with it mm -hmm. throughout. Okay, time. But I did read a lot of the or a bunch of the posts in the Magic Loop cabin, and so many people there said. I'm in the Magic Loop cabin. It is the only cabin you will find me in. <laughs> and guess what? That's me too. That's I, am, me. Yeah. I am gonna. Well, Magic Loop all the way. So Team funny. Magic Loop. It's yes. a personality trait. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, it just it works for me. I I taught a 90 year old Magic Loop the other day. So Look, and I she, love she 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 so loved it. She's like, she's like this is so smart. It's like sometimes it's you know it. it if it clicks with you, it clicks with you. Yeah, exactly. Right? I'm not. I'm not saying exactly. everyone has to use it for everything, but yeah. she didn't. She was having trouble with DPNs for decreasing a hat, mm -hmm. and she had actually been like doing the the faux magic loop yeah, where you use out. exactly. Mm -hmm. And she didn't even realize what she was doing. We talked on the phone first. She's like, "I need to get one of those 16 inch needles to finish my hat," and I'm like, mm -hmm. "You're not going to be able to finish your hat on a 16 inch needle." I don't, you know. But given what she was doing, I kind of understand why she thought that that would work. Yeah. But um, anyway. So she came in, we sat down, we had our mess on. She, you know, I she got I got her a big needle and she was doing magic loop to finish her hat on a 40 inch needle. Love it. Within 15 minutes. I mean, that's the thing like I still love and prefer DPNs, but I have to say I do do socks two at a time on Magic Loop. Exactly. There are times where it's it's yeah, it, it you makes need sense. To it be works. able to like I feel like you need to know how to do both at least once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then you can really decide like which one is which one clicks with you. Mm -hmm. and, which and one's also, your like, which one yeah. is your preference like for a certain yeah. project? I mean there definitely are things if I'm working on something really tiny, I will use DPNs. I'll just use yeah. DPNs as my whole needle. It's not like yeah. you know, I do have a full set of DPNs. I just will never make socks on them. Just no. because for me I'm well you're loose too, but I don't I'm know. Too. Magic, I'm tight but I'm tighter on DPNs because the stitch that way the stitches don't fall off. The the needle, well that's the thing. I think the first couple of times I tried to use DPNs, Thank my needles would fall really? right out of the <laughs> stitches. Exactly. Fly right and, through. And I would do a lot of knitting on New Jersey Transit. It's like it's, it's really Thing to lose your row counter. It's like I used to lose the at least number of one row, row counter a week. Oh. They're they're probably they're probably still on times. some of those New Jersey yeah. transfers. I used to order them by the dozen. I used then, to get them by the dozen because I would always lose them. They would just you know yeah, roll it, away. It is but, another thing entirely to lose a, a needle. Deal, a one needle, transit. forget it. Forget about it. Yeah, and then you don't so. want to have to like climb on that floor. Ugh. No, exactly. That's why the row counters. I didn't care. Oh. It's like fine. It's a three dollar <laughs> row counter. I'll yeah. get another one. Yeah. But um. But yeah, anyway, so it, yeah, Magic Loop is my friend. It's like, yeah, it, it's, it's what works for me. It's the way my brain works. You'll never lose um, that other needle. No, exactly, never exactly. Lose and if I, 
I don't remember if this is a 32. Uh, this is a 40. I that, I, that looks 40. Mm, I don't know. That's Maybe not a 40. I, have, I don't have a No, thing. you know what? That's that a, 32. Is a 32. That's a 32. Usually, I mean, my 40 is longer. Yeah, usually I usually I do, if I'm doing a single sock, I do it on a 32. Yeah. And then if I'm doing a double, two socks, I'm doing it on a 40. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just what works for me. So I am going to be hanging out in that. Magic loop cabin. We're gonna be a magic loop cabin, and Haley is gonna be it looks in like a little hair tie. It does I'm look like a little hair tie. Um, nine inch cabin, the little babies. <laughs> I know. I'm so impressed with that because that she really, my hands. she really it, likes it. Yeah. I was so surprised. I thought I would be like, I want to like it, and I don't. She's from been the first stitch. She loves that. Yeah. From the first stitch. Yeah. It had your heart. It had my heart. Yeah. So <laughs> these are my babies, so and I need to get um. Um, another set of Leicas because they broke. No! The little, and they're even, they're like half the needle. They're really, the like needles half. are like an inch and a, the, yeah. they're like an inch and a half long. Yeah. They're so tiny. So, yeah. I am using the Chiaogu size 1, US 1, mm -hmm. 2.25 millimeter, yeah. 9 inch, we carry in the store. Do you, um, you prefer the wood though? You do? No, I like the metal, but I just want to have multiple needles for sock cam. Uh -huh. That way you have options. That's the thing. I need to pick up another 40 inch size zero because I still don't know where I put Ollie's socks that uh, are on no. my current Chago zero, which just means I need a new needle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. who am I kidding? Yeah. It's just, yeah, you'll, you'll I just need another one. Yeah. This is how I end up with like four sets of interchangeable needles, by the way, <laughs> because I'm like, oh, no, I should just get a new one. Yeah, no. I mean, and the fact that the store has them doesn't yeah, really. Yeah. And I'm like, oh look a pink one. Oh look a green one. And oh look a gray one. Oh look a metal. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. But Everything. we we just did an accessories unlimited order the other day. So we, we because of summer sock camp and our own sock bingo, yes. which you will hear more about as more we said. More information to come. Um, we we ordered. We kind of did a little extra on the sock needles. Excellent. So yeah. So, so if you're we've got some here, we're definitely getting more later this week. If you're easily Join influenced us. as I am, <laughs> where I'm now like, no, I should be doing some socks too. Because yeah. Come to the dark side. That's yeah, how Vivian said. I she mean, was like, I have to make them now. I know now we have to do it. She did um, so great. I saw she has almost to the heel already and she's doing two at a time. Oh my gosh. Class. That's oh, amazing. Cool. That's, amazing. That's great. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Um, do you guys have more whips? I think you do. I do. I do. So I my, this, is, this is my one. Well, I didn't bring the cardigan. Yeah, I, the cardigan. Been, you showed that. I, 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 I rotate. It. I mean, I have other whips at home, but like some of them are too big to bring. Slash, I'm still on February on my um, temperature crochet blanket. temperature blanket. I have an up. idea. Yeah, I have an idea because I was thinking. Now that I have my little stickies, I have um, like actually like big regular paper sized um, like removable erasable um, things like post-it notes for the wall which worked so well in my dorm room yeah um, for jotting things down because like that's my like brain right. thoughts and then I actually write my list on piece of paper mm -hmm. but I was looking at my it has my like mental cue now for projects and uh, uh -huh. I had like temperature blanket question mark because like it took I, I had the idea and so I was like a skirt, a maxi skirt, because I'm in a maxi skirt mood oh. right now. Crocheted. Crocheted, temperature blanket, maxi skirt. Okay. Cool. That's my idea. All I right. think that's a good idea. If you I can visualize, if you can see the picture in my head. So, <laughs> so, so like, almost like, I'm almost thinking chevron. Like, <gasps> oh, yes. that'd be like, so fun. Very 70s. Yes, Do it. Yes. Chevron, so like. Because you can wear I that and pull that off. I don't know the math necessarily yet, but I see the idea for like doing the colors and stripes and then wearable. Yes, I love, I love it. it. That's very do fun. It. Do it, do All it, do right. it. Because I found two like midi slash maxi skirts. They're midi because I'm not mm -hmm. necessarily tall enough to go for like I'll see a maxi skirt and I want, but like yeah. I'm in the longer skirt mood right now. Yeah. Um, for the summer, and I was like, yeah. That's a great idea. Wearable, wearable. That's a great I, idea. I think I was just like thinking, like, well, you also have I have several blankets. blankets. I yeah. like have like a pile of three crochet blankets, right. and it's like, I want that more. Do I need more? Yeah. Right. Yeah. In this Especially moment, since you'll in be back the in the future, you'll yes. be back in a dorm in room. In this moment, again in the fall. Exactly. So, yes. so yeah. skirt, skirt. Uh, love it. Excellent. And also more, more things to wear. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Because I'm like, I need more. I need more skirts. Me made clothes. Me made clothes. 
Um, so what's your whip? So my other whip, and it is, and again, plans, you know, if I'd had two hours at home last night instead <laughs> of whatever, um, I thought I'd actually cast on my Rocket Tea, but I have my Rocket Tea by Tennis Lavalie. Oh, and yeah, you didn't get to show your... So speech. I didn't have my swatch when we did our live podcast, remember? You're right. Yeah. yeah, but we it talked about it a little podcast. bit then. <laughs> it was, it was on, on the Lost, lost Podcast. The lost <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this was, we were talking about how when... Do you want me to hold it up and you I can voice that. over? Mm -hmm. Here. So um, you can see the, the, this yarn, which is Noro Kanzashi, um, is, oh, I took the wrong thing out. It's a single, so it is very kind of loosely spun. And the way I was working from it, I was putting so much twist into it, it was biasing. And I mean, partly it's the yarn. From the middle. As Jane, uh, yeah, I'm going to exactly. flip it so the bias part is on the bottom. Yeah. So you can really see how it skews. Yeah, yeah. And then the top was after I followed Jen's advice and I put the yarn. I mean, we talked about a couple of ways of dealing with it, but the way mm -hmm. I decided to do it, you know, because it was easy in my TV room where I sit to knit, is I put it on a spindle, like a spike that's got a little wooden bottom you know, a couple of feet away from me, and mm -hmm. then it kind of untwists before it gets to you, basically, yep. the, the, the kink, the, yeah. the kink untwists. And you're pulling from the outside rather than the inside? Or are you pulling from the inside still? I, I probably am pulling from the outside now. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the other reason. So first off, singles tend to twist, singles tend to bias in general. Anytime you have a yarn that is a single chunk of fiber that is twisted, it is always going to have a slight bias to it because there's nothing to counteract that twist. So if you twist it's it one good. way, it's, it's always going to go like bloop. And if you twist it the other way, it's going to go bloop. But when you have applied yarn, mm -hmm. you have, they, yeah. they, they balance yeah. each other out. Mm -hmm. And that's why it'll, it'll hang without a twist. So mm -hmm. singles in general always have a tendency for a twist anyway. Mm -hmm. But it can, and, and every knitter and every crocheter adds twist to the yarn or mm -hmm. removes twist mm -hmm. from the yarn when you're working with mm -hmm. it. It's just the nature of the beast. Like when you're I working. I noticed when I was casting on, it was like the, the plies were loosening. Yeah. So, and the, so. the main way to counteract that is not to change the way that you knit or crochet, but to change where you're pulling the yarn from, mm -hmm. whether it's mm -hmm. from the inside or from the outside. Because when you pull from the inside of the yarn, the yarn itself is coiling around like this when it mm -hmm. comes out. Mm -hmm. So that's either adding or removing twist. Mm -hmm. So, and the thing is, is that it depends on how the yarn is spun. So sometimes yarn is spun S, which is clockwise, and sometimes yarn is spun Z, which is counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. So usually if it's applied yarn, if it's spun S, it's applied Z, uh -huh. or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So if you tend to add, and everybody's individual, so if you tend to add twist S, and you're working with an S plot, an S twisted yarn, you're going to add more twist. Mm -hmm. If you tend to add S twist and you're working with a Z twist yarn, you're going to remove, remove it and the plies it. will separate. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when you're, but when you're working with a yarn and you're pulling from the inside, it's always going to do something. It spirals. It's yeah. going to spiral and either add or remove twist. So if mm -hmm. something is becoming uncontrollably biased mm -hmm. or if it's, you know, bunching up on you or becoming very splitty, mm -hmm. try pulling from the outside of the yarn and not pulling from the outside of the yarn so it pulls like that, but like Kathleen mm -hmm. said, pull so up. you, oh no, you don't, you don't want to pull up. You mm -hmm. want to pull from the oh, side. Yeah, the side, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, when the you, thing, the, yes. the skein turns instead the of the The skein turns the instead of you. Mm -hmm. Because when you pull from the side, you're not adding or removing twist. Yeah, yeah. It mm -hmm. is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, so like you could do it like this, mm -hmm. you know, I think uh, when the I first talked to you, I was like, shove a knitting needle through a box yeah. and like do this yeah, and yeah. Mm -hmm. it'll just I've reel off. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, or what you have with yeah. a spindle where you just mm -hmm. shove it in like this and, and just, then yeah, and have it out all the plane that your knitting yeah. is on yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, yep. in space. And you can also rewind a ball so it's not center pull and it'll, it'll, it'll come out freely. Um, but that's something that in spinning, um, 
you kind of learn to, you, you learn to do because when you're plying yarn together or you're winding yarn onto a skein, you don't want to add or remove twist. Mm -hmm. You want it to roll freely. Right. So right. like that's why you pull off of a bobbin or a lazy cape will make it pull so you never pull off the top of a cone because mm -hmm. it'll go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and add more or remove more. All right. Science! Yes, <laughs> yes. So one other thing of note with this, I'm using oh, the yes. new Leica cords. I love which, those. Um, they have a swivel mechanism so your needles freely turn and not only is like i did not do anything with this cord this is how it came out of the package wow so it so definitely creepy. is more flexible than their old cords yeah um but the fact that it also has the swivel it never will kink that's amazing so i that's a big improvement and i think these are four dollars each where the old ones were 350 so for a oh, whole 50 cents so, so much easier. worth it they're just going yeah, like, totally woo, worth it woo, woo. yeah very nice so really easy to work with uh, these technology. would be great for magic loop too yeah for sure exactly right? They're, yeah it, they almost feel like the chowgu the chowgu cords but yeah. it, but it is just plastic but it's really it's got um it's it's pliable yeah. it's it's sturdy without being so sturdy that you can't bend it so it's it's just it's in that sweet spot that's great i really like so it. if you ever fight with your cords yeah Consider the new like a totally wanted to sell. interchangeable yeah, and cords. Try it out, <laughs> see how it feels because mm -hmm. you might be like, eh. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah. what I thought. Almost, I thought I was gonna. You yeah. were gonna be like, yeah, it's not that much of a difference. Like the first yeah. row, you were like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't think it was so small. like an infomercial. <laughs> like, oh, you really? Did, you did. I did because I'm so used to literally. I will put the kettle on to boil and I'll soften yeah. the cord. Yeah. And I mean, because I have done it with just I've hot water it. from the faucet. But honestly, by the time I let that much water run, I'd mm -hmm. rather just fill the kettle right. and, and bring it to up. the boil. Yeah. But that's like another ten minutes of your life, you know. Right. So and as many times as and you do it. And you can just get the swivel cords. Plus, they're in a cute color. And then you could exactly. For that exactly. Time. I appreciate yeah. also that they made it a different color so you can tell the difference. Easy yeah. to tell. Yeah. Easy right? to tell like which really is which. Easy to tell the difference. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not too much of my swatch right now, but I will tell you what yarns I'm using. Um, so, this is, excuse me, as we said earlier when <laughs> Nelly pulled that one down, this is Noro Kakagori, and I'm using color one, which is, it's really, it's just like um, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Pale light, rainbow light pastel, pastel you know, but not, 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 it's kind of sophisticated too. I don't know, yeah. there's something about it's it. Really it's really nice. like, it's like after the rain rainbow, kind of like it's not yeah, like that. It's like a washout. But it's like, Ooh, I'm going to call it my after the rainbow rocket tea. I like oh, it. I love it. I like it. I like it. And then the other, what I'm using is um, LRA Denim DK in natural. Which is a great guy. So, yeah, so this tea, um, the original pattern was written for fingering and mohair but you know for a summary to, well number one mohair is not my friend i love it it's very pretty it makes me sneeze and gives me headaches <laughs> yep so i can't wear mohair but what i can wear is you know some summery cottons so i'm getting the same gauge with these two yarns that the pattern calls for perfect so uh, and it's still going to be like a nice open light summer tea yeah um so yeah so by the next episode i definitely should have some progress on this cool um yeah so that i think that is my okay. last it's, it's, it's it. still an almost whip, but Do I did want to bring it back because, you know, we had the we swatch with that. Yeah, and the, we can talk, you know, talk about, like, talk about the, the whole twist issue twist and everything. Stuff. Yeah. Um, do we have anything else? I'm, I think that might be it. I think so, that's it. Yeah. thank you for joining us again. I'm hopeful that the audio worked. Yay! Yeah, I hope it held out. Um, <laughs> and in the meantime, just make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can get notifications of when we post new videos, mm -hmm. new podcasts, tutorials, all that mm -hmm. fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to the newsletter because if we hadn't sold it hard enough, we're going to sell it again. Um, you and can go also, to our website at shopyarnia.com to do so. Mm -hmm. And you can shop there too. Yep. And also. And uh, don't forget to let us know, like, for a live podcast, what you think would be a good time. Yes. We'd love to hear that. Yes. Tell and, us what and time. Comment. Yeah. See if you have questions, if you think a QA and a is a good idea or something else. Yeah, let us yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Let us know down below. And, and any, any other, yeah, any other questions yeah. or comments. Definitely, you know, and, and go, go, um, check out Crazy Sock Ladies Summer yes. Sock Camp. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's and be super fun. And, and we have a sock keep thing in, coming up. In yes. Store. Yes. Keep, well, once you get that sock mojo going, we, we've, we've got we more sock fun Google for you. We have the Google Doc with all the information. <laughs> yes. It's coming. It's coming. Um, and yeah. And we, we've been talking about it for a while. So yeah. we just. And in the meantime, follow us on Ravelry. We're at Shop Yarnia. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, Yarnia LLC. And Instagram, Shop Yarnia. Mm -hmm. And. Yep. Hope you guys have a great week. We'll yep. see you soon. Knit your socks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>